If you follow Formula One, then you know who Daniel Ricciardo is. He recently sat the year out after departing from McLaren a year earlier than expected. Ricciardo, who is Australian, recently revealed he was in talks for a race seat in 2023 with another team. Alonso ahead of his teammate, but for how much longer? He goes wide, Alonso. That could allow Ricardo to slip down the inside. Daniel Ricardo picks off both of them during the course of a couple of corners. But that was before deciding to take a reserve role with Red Bull. Red Bull is the reigning champ of F1. It's the winner's trophy then for the 12th time. A 32nd career win then for Max Verstappen. Same as Fernando Alonso. A second world title for Max Verstappen, same as Fernando Alonso. Before all this, the Australian driver made his Formula One debut in 2011 with the HRT team, and then he drove for Toro Rosso in 2012 and 2013. Returning to Red Bull for the 2023 season marks a comeback of sorts for Ricardo. Years back in 2014, he joined the Red Bull team. It was this first stint with Red Bull that Ricardo won seven races and really put his name on the map as one of the top drivers in F1. Daniel Ricciardo becomes a new winner in Formula One. The team rush out to applaud him home. Mercedes fail, Red Bull pick up the pieces. He was asked about his decision to leave Red Bull his first time out. He said it was a bit of a gamble. Then in 2018, he moved to Renault. Turn one, he's gonna have to live with a Ferrari all the way around turn two. He is ahead, Daniel Ricciardo. Charles Leclerc is trying to fight it back, but Ricciardo will keep that fourth place and now he can start to set about getting after Max Verstappen. He stayed there for two years before joining McLaren in 2021. Last season with McLaren wasn't the greatest for Ricardo. It was, um, yeah, just too many kind of weekends. It was obviously just a bit of a struggle. Um, so that's... Um, that was pretty much how, how the kind of decision came about. The Australian was struggling with the new generation of Formula One cars. He racked up a meager 37 points. Can he get past at the third time of asking Joe Guan Yu? Yes, he can. 12th place is now Daniel Ricciardo's. It's been coming for a while. Seemed to have more straight line speed with that DRS. It's worth a roundabout. Which is the root cause of his earlier than expected departure from the team. We, we tried quite long. Um, as a collective to try and make this work and get the car in a place I was happy with, you know, to get, get the most out of myself and to find those results. For anyone wondering, Oscar Piastri will replace him at McLaren this season, which was a bummer and somewhat of a surprise because Ricardo led Lando Norris in a breathtaking 1-2 at Monza in 2021. Monza, Daniel Ricardo has returned to the top step of the podium in a dramatic race here this afternoon in the sunshine of Monza. The sparkling wine. Ricardo recently appeared on the podcast Beyond the Grid. He was asked if he had the option of taking a full-time racing seat in 2023 before he settled on the reserve role with Red Bull. His reply, there was a couple of times where Ferrari was linked. Eventually, he concluded that it wasn't about getting a phone call and an offer. Rather, he decided he didn't really want to compete next year. So in a way, I'm glad, let's say, a top team didn't reach out because it is one of those situations where you probably feel, oh, I've got to sign it. But I think deep down, I was craving a little bit of distance. Overall, the eight-time Grand Prix winner said that he thinks a season on the sidelines could be beneficial for him, more than another stint behind the wheel. He is excited and confident that a break will do him a lot of good, as the person he is and as the driver he knows he can be. Ricardo believes that, for him, the practice makes perfect method is not the best approach. He thinks that after a break, he can return better than ever. The guy wants some time off, got it? But for Team Red Bull, they are in very good hands. The combination of Sergio Perez and two-time champion Max Verstappen will lead them into 2023. On the inside, this time is just hanging back a little bit. And is the patience going to pay off here? Because Verstappen has got DRS down the main straight. Charles Leclerc can't cover him off. Verstappen takes... And they are aiming for a third consecutive driver's title and a second straight constructor's championship. And guess who is supporting them in the third driver role? Yeah, you know and I know you know. We said it already. And speaking of Team Red Bull, how about that Max Verstappen, eh? That guy is good at driving Formula One, am I right? Some overtakes from a long way back. Look at the bouncing on the Ferrari. The Red Bull's coming at him. Verstappen goes round the outside into the chicane. Stays on the track. Max
Max Verstappen takes the lead at the sprint here at Imola. One big question surrounding Verstappen and Red Bull is, can Max continue to improve? Can this guy get even better? His level of performance is already considered stunning, and everyone believes he is only getting stronger. He is basically like the Hulk, and there was even a little dust up with his teammate where we saw flashes of his anger. Red Bull team's chief engineer, Paul Monaghan, is confident in Verstappen, really confident. Verstappen drove for Toro Rosso, just like his new teammate and reserve driver, Daniel Ricciardo. He made his F1 debut with the team, not called AlphaTauri, in 2015, and then secured a promotion with Red Bull in 2016. With a spectacular victory in his debut race at the Spanish Grand Prix, Max Verstappen was a regular as far as podium finishes, and he kept winning. And then 2021 marked a huge breakthrough as an improved Red Bull Honda package enabled Verstappen to really take the fight to Lewis Hamilton, aka the master of F1. It was then that Verstappen narrowly came out on top in the championship battle. 2022, early on in the season, Verstappen had a little bit of concerns regarding his liability, but he's Max freaking Verstappen, and he made it back-to-back -back championships. He went on a crazy run and won 15 of 22 races. Red Bull chief Helmut Marko hailed the 25-year-old for taking a big step forward. Verstappen is a true champion, and it isn't only because of his driving, but also the work he does outside of the cockpit that impressed Red Bull. Max Verstappen did have an advantage some drivers do not have. His dad was an F1 driver too. Combine that with how technically gifted he is, and all the work he put in growing up behind the wheel of fast cars, he can speak the language of cars with his engineers. He knows how to say what he wants in his car. His communication with his engineers helps deliver to him a perfect car, nicely balanced and easy to drive. His team isn't delusional. As good as Verstappen is, his double champion status and record-setting ways, he still has room for improvement, and that is why he is expected to continue to get better and better, and come back in his best form. The past few seasons, Verstappen has been incredible. His driving is stunning, and anyone who watches and pays attention to F1 knows it when they see him race. He could never achieve what he was if he wasn't a freakishly gifted driver. His team jokes that he may not love them saying he can continue to improve, but it's with a hovial sense you hear them say such things. They know the sky's the limit for Verstappen, and they want to see him soar. Verstappen's 15 race wins set a new record, which included 9 of his last 11 races. That set the benchmark for the most wins in a season. The previous record was set at 13. He is dominant. His 15 victories in 22 Grand Prix, which, do the math, means he stood at the top of the podium 68.2% of the races. That is the fifth best all time, and the second best since 2005. 454. This is the total point tally for Verstappen in 2022. This surpasses the previous total set by Lewis Hamilton back in 2019. Hamilton tallied 413. Verstappen is an animal behind the wheel. The gap between Verstappen and the second Second best driver Charles Leclerc was 146. That is the largest margin of victory in the hybrid era. Can you guess who previously held the record? Yeah, Lewis Hamilton had a 124 point win over Valtteri Bottas in 2020. And the list of achievements goes on for Max Verstappen and Team Red Bull. So even if Daniel Ricciardo ends up not having to do much, he may still be part of a champion. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. We will be back soon with more content to entertain, but in the meantime, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We appreciate your support. See you soon. Take care.